All right, time for my ninth and final box of collector's boosters of Innistrad Midnight Hunt. Um, I say final. Probably should have like an asterisk on that statement. Uh, you never know. Could open one again someday. But I wouldn't bet on it if I were a betting man. You know, not much of a gambler. I buy magic cards by the box as opposed to buying singles. Because of how not a gambler I am. Right? Seems legit. Swamp, Rite of Harmony, Curse of Unbinding, Curse of Shaken Faith, Sarah, the Viper's Fang, and Angel Fire Ignition. So, yeah, not much there. Back on. Planes, Cigar to Splendor. Tomb Tyrant, Wake to Slaughter, um, Jaren, Corrupted Bishop, and Denik, Pirate, Pious Apprentice. Very nearly the least valuable rare in the set. So I finally looked it up, and uh, it seems like it's pretty random uh, which version of these legendaries are worth more. Um, Denik, for example, here, his regular art version is worth more than this version, but there are definitely a substantial number that the inverse is true, so probably just based on art preferences, uh, you can see where this might not be everyone's favorite art, but it's not bad art, just Arlen, Pax Hope, um, Nice Planeswalker hit there with the foil regular border Arlen. Nice. Cigars Vanguard. Burn down the house. Witch Scoundrel. We got an Archangel. Dawn Heart Rejuvenator. And ooh, foil Haunted Ridge, because I do like that art. That's why we're going to ooh it. So, okay. Still no Poppet Stitcher, I think. I don't remember opening a Poppet Stitcher. Uh, Forest, Gisa, Regular Border, Curse of Obsession, Willow Geist, Commons, and Fairy. Slows down the sunset. Uh, borderless version there. I think it's the own. Nope. Uh, for the pre release, I had a regular Fairy. And Gisa. Glorious Resurrector in the foil fancy schmancy frame. Mountain. Unnatural growth. Still solid rare a few days after release. Seems to be sticking towards the top value wise. Storm Seeker and Sun Street Phoenix. Oh, don't believe that's the a very valuable mythic, but uh, mythic. So. All right, I believe this is pack six. So after this, we're halfway through. There's an island and a mask of gristle brand, ravenous rot belly, Lord of the Forsaken, another mythic that I don't see, I don't feel like I've seen a ton of. Another Gisa, uh, Tavern Ruffian, Yavani Generation, Bat Zombie. So, into the back half we go of the Last planned box. Planes. Oh, 
old stick fingers. Cleaver scab, memory deluge, uh, witch and painter, and overgrown farmland. Witch and cigar to splendor. Swamp, consuming blob. Oops, sorry, I can't move past it. Visions of Dread. There's a poppet stitcher. Extended art there. Um, let's check out the back because I don't think I've hit one before now. I'm very intrigued by the card. It's nice. It's a nice flavor. Buffalo Veil, kind of. A little bit weird for Zendikar, but Zendikar. Yeah, it would be real weird for Zendikar. Oh, hey. A little bit weird for uh, Innistrad. It's literally right, right in front of my face. Um, then we've got Jaren, Corrupted Bishop, for the last card. Uh, Mythic. Well, fancy schmancy. That's right. It took me nine videos to apparently settle on fancy schmancy to describe that last slot. Um, suspicious Stowaway. Kyler. It's the Guardian Emissary. Don't feel like I've hit too many of those. It's a mythic from the Commander stuff. Bloodline Culling. Tovar's Huntmaster. And Can't Stay Away. Some interesting art. I'm not a huge cat person. I know there's some people that get really into cats. Not really my thing necessarily, but to each their own. Swamp there. Rockfall Veil. Celebrate the Harvest. Curse of Silence. Dawn Heart Rejuvenator. Shipwreck Marsh. And Sarath, the Viper's Fang. Mountain. Deserted Beach. Visions of Glory. Faithful Absence. Haunted Ridge. Teferi, who slows the sunset. In the foil, full art, fancy schmancy slot. Very nice. All right. Last collector's pack of this set that I will be opening in the foreseeable future, if not ever. Uh, Planes, Shipwreck Marsh in the regular border, which I feel like might be a first for me. Moorland Rescuer from Commander. Dire Strain Rampage. Uh, common, uncommon, rare with Denik Pious Apprentice. Foil Common, Shady Traveler, and a Willow Geist in the fancy schmancy slot. Um, so, we have the Foil Fair this time around, and I don't remember what else. Um, my boxes are running together now. Poppet Stitcher. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> that's why I should keep the Mythics out so I can remember at the end what I opened. But, uh, thanks for watching. Um, like I said, this is probably the last Midnight Hunt collector box, but there will be other things coming. Um, probably, probably won't have posted a box of Ravnica Allegiance that I opened the other day. That will probably come after this video because I post things in random orders. Um, but then we'll see what happens from there. Um, I mean, before I know it, it'll be time for the next set, Crimson Vow. Um, really looking forward to 
the Unzent whenever that comes around because I'm excited about the idea of full art shock lands. So looking forward to that when we get there. Uh, so probably will continue to be box opening videos popping up on this channel randomly. Um, but as far as Innistrad goes, for now, this might be it. So if you're a big Innistrad fan, uh, if you haven't already seen all the videos, you can go back and watch the older ones, but uh, I'll be taking a break unless I get crazy and buy like a original Innistrad box or something. But as far as Innistrad Midnight Hunt goes, this probably wraps it up for me. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed watching with me. Um, if you don't, if you didn't already hear, box four is the winner. Well, like, of the boxes I opened, box number four, there's zero doubt that that was the best box. But, um, there's been some other solid ones. So, um, I've said I'm a lot. Now I'm just rambling, but I wanted to close out the run of these with a little extra information about what's going to happen going forward. So hopefully you'll stick around on the channel, subscribe, so you will know when the new videos go up. And uh, thanks again.